Welcome to VoicePad 101. I'm Taylor and today we will cover the VoicePad basics. We're going to discuss how to generate leads at the curb. I'm going to go over five actions to help you get started with your VoicePad platform and I'll leave you with information on how you can continue learning more about the platform. Let's start at the curb. You may have a sign that says for info 24-7 call or text and it will have your VoicePad system number and a four digit code. The way this is working is we're connected to the MLS and a buyer at the curb can enter the code on your sign or a house number of a property, find that property to search and hear information. So we're delivering that information to your potential buyers 24-7. We're call capturing that information and presenting you, the agent, with a lead. Here's an example of what that lead looks like. This lead notification is going to come in two places. You'll receive a text message as well as an email. This example is the email. It's going to have the name of the person who called. It's going to have their history if they've used the VoicePad system before. And it's going to have the details on the property of interest. You will go to voicepad.com. Your login button is on the right hand side. If you do not know your username and password, please ask your administrator. They'll be able to get that for you. Or you can send an email requesting your login information to customer.care at voicepad.com. So for today's example, I'm going to use our demo dashboard. You should have your username and password saved somewhere. If this is the first time you've ever logged in, it's going to ask you to create a new password. It needs to be four to six digits, numbers only. Once you're on your dashboard, you will see all of your listings. These listings mirror in from the MLS to your dashboard. We are going to use the features that you entered into the MLS and generate a voice presentation that we present at the curb for your consumers. Here's an example of what that sounds like. This conveniently located four bedroom, two full baths, and one half bath, Cape Cod is located in Louisville's beautiful historic highlands. This property is listed for $389,000. Interior features of this property include a first floor master, hardwood floors, a full complement of kitchen appliances, a home security system, a gourmet kitchen, and a kitchen island. On the outside, this property features privacy fencing, a screened-in porch, a wraparound deck, waterfront access, and an exceptional view. So there's an example of what we're pulling from the MLS. We're putting this information together and generating this voice presentation for your consumers at the curb. So whenever you get a new listing on your dashboard from the MLS, listen to what it sounds like. If you want to make any changes, hit the blue pencil to the right of the listing and you'll be able to edit what we present. Any changes you make, be sure to save and they will take place instantly. The way the system works is you will call in this voice pad system number, enter the code that's assigned to the listing, then we will pull the information from where the code is assigned. Say you have a listing on Lake Forest Parkway. This listing sells. You want to move your sign with code 1000 to your new listing on Cherokee Road. Simply come in here, hit beside Cherokee Road, select code 1000, swap the code, and then you'll be able to move the sign to Cherokee Road. Whenever consumers enter code 1000, that's the information we're going to pull. So in short summary, wherever the code is on the dashboard, that's the information that we're going to play. This saves you from having to create signs for every listing. Simply move the sign to your new listing once your other listing sells. So that leads us to our five actions to get started. So the five things we're going to do to get started today, we're going to save your voice pad number as a contact in your phone. We're going to get your mobile site on your phone. We're going to create an icon of that mobile site. I'll let you know how to share your mobile site with your consumers. And we're going to talk about registering your buyers. So let's get started with step number one. Save your voice pad number as a contact in your phone. 
Your VoicePad system number is located on the top right-hand side of your dashboard. It says Info 24-7 and has your phone number. Save this as a contact in your phone. You can save it as VoicePad, you can save it as Lead, save it as a dollar sign. Something so that you know if you see this ringing in on your phone, this is someone at the curb wanting more information. So this is an important call you may need to step away and take. The way this is working and how consumers would get to you through this voice pad number, say a buyer's at the curb, they call this number, they enter in the code, and they hear information on the property. They will have the option to press 1 to transfer to speak with you live. So if you get a call from this number, realize that it's someone wanting more information on a property. Once you've saved this number on your phone, we'll move on to step number two. We're going to get your personalized agent mobile site on your phone. If you're on your dashboard following along, click your My Profile button. Your My Profile will have your photo, it will have how VoicePad contacts you. This information is important because this is the information on where we're sending your leads. So double check while we're on this page and make sure that your contact information is up to date. Now we'll go to your mobile site options button. This button is located on the right hand side of your My Profile tab. From your mobile site options, in the middle of the page it says My Mobile Site Link. Click on this link and we will pull up your personalized agent mobile site. This site is going to have your information as well as the ability to connect to your social media pages. To get these uh, social media icons you'll simply copy and paste your URL onto the My Mobile Site Options page. Then they will appear on your mobile site. This is just a quick way to have the viewers of your mobile site easily access your certain social media pages. So let's talk about getting this site on your phone. There's a couple different options. So if you ha are following along on your computer and you have your mobile site pulled up, hit the down button until you see share this site. Click on share this site, share to mobile phone, enter in your phone number and your name then hit share this site. This is exactly what you're going to do to share your site with your buyers and today we're doing this to get your site on your phone. What this does is it sends you a text message with a link to your mobile site. So from here you can follow along with the link you just sent yourself. Let's talk about your mobile site. The first feature is find nearby properties. Find Nearby Properties uses the GPS location to find the properties that are near you at the moment. This is great when your buyers are driving neighborhoods. You have your map search where you can search for homes on a map view. You also have advanced search. So I'm going to go into your advanced search tab. I'm going to hit more options and set some criteria. Let's set a price. and hit search all. From here you will be able to see that anyone who is a listing agent, no matter where this property is listed, you are the only contact. So if this is a competitor's listing, you are still the only contact. This entire site, you are the only contact no matter what property is viewed. So let's talk about what features your buyers are seeing when they view a property on your mobile site. From here, they're able to get information in English or in Spanish, as well as simply flipping through the photos. They'll have a live map. This map is going to have homes that are for sale near the property that they're currently viewing. It's also going to have sold data, school information, and we've recently added everything from pharmacies, daycares, places of worship, grocery stores, movie theaters, banks. All of this information is included on the map as well. If the listing has a drone or 3D tour, those will be appearing on the site as well. We have our property information 
is the information that you've entered into the MLS. We have interior, exterior, schools, descriptions and remarks, and then we have community info. This community info is going to have a demographic overview, a household ownership overview. We're also going to include the cost of living. This is great information, especially if you're working with a buyer who's not from the area. We have weather trends as well as the recent market trends as well. So all of this information is available on every property that is viewed on your mobile site. So let's go back to the home button to the main page of your mobile site. After advanced search, you have your share this site. Again, this is how you're sharing your site to your buyers. You would click share this site, share to mobile phone number or email, and it's going to send your buyer a text message with a link to your mobile site. The last two on this page are preferred contacts and real estate video library. This is set uh, from the administration level. If you don't see those options, you can talk to your administrator about setting these up for you. You have a quick search area. This is where your buyers can quickly type in a house number, start typing in the property, and easily find it. Then if, whenever you have your listings, they will be featured on your site. So you'll see a features listing area if you have listings currently. The next step after you get the site on your phone is to create an icon. So this is a mobile site. It's not an app, so there's nothing to download. Don't have to remember your Apple ID password. And it really doesn't take up space on your phone. It's very convenient. It can be sent through a text message. It can be opened up on your computer. It's not limited to your mobile device. Well, one thing, though, it does not automatically create that icon on the home screen of your phone like you're used to with an app. So I'm going to show you how you can get this on your phone as that little app-like icon. This makes it really convenient to go back and share the site with your buyers. I also suggest taking this extra step whenever you do share your site with a buyer so that they don't have to go back to the link in their text message. They can easily access this as well. So there's two different ways depending on your phone. If you have an iPhone, then you will see where you will be able to have a little gray bar on the bottom of your screen and again this is part of the phone you'll see the bar at the bottom it will have a square with an arrow pointing up you'll click on that that will open another menu where you'll scroll over and see a plus sign that says add to home screen so the white bar box with an arrow pointing up plus sign that says add to home screen that will open up a new menu and you'll click the word add from there you will see an app like icon on the last page of your home screen of your phone now if you have an Android it's a little different on an Android to save a site to the home screen of your phone you will see the three dots on the top right hand side it might also say the word more click on that and you'll see add to home screen. That creates the app like icon on the home screen of your Android device. So that's how you create an icon of your mobile site so you can easily go back. So that was step number three. And step number four is just showing you again how you can share your personalized mobile site. Pull up your site, hit share this site, share to mobile phone number or email, enter the information and click send. So once you get your site to your buyers, how do you register them? Now registering your buyer, it keeps that buyer's contact information with you and only you. An example of this would be, say your buyer calls in on a sign of your listing. So you get the lead, you're communicating with the buyer, you're working with them. Then they realize that they can type in the house number whenever they call and search for any active property in your MLS and hear that information. So then they drive to the street over, they find a house that is for sale, they enter in the street number and they hear the information. That lead notification will go on in a different system because it is considered a competitor's listing if it's not your listing. So to make sure that your buyers can search on competitors listings and only you receive those leads, you need to register them. So you can register your buyer in two ways, one on your mobile site, the other on your back-end dashboard, and I'll show you both of those right now. Since we're working on your mobile site at the moment, scroll down all the way down to the bottom, 
and hit search tools. So scroll down to on your mobile site and hit search tools. From here you'll enter in your buyer's first name, last name, email, and phone number. You'll see where it says add additional mobile numbers. This would be convenient. Say you're working with a couple and instead of registering them as two different users, you could just put in Bob and Tracy and add both of their phone numbers. You do have to have an email to register your buyer. We're going to send your buyers an email once they're registered letting them know how to use your VoicePad system. This email is going to include your agent photo, your contact information, your VoicePad system number, so it's going to be personalized to you automatically. This is a great way to explain the benefits of the VoicePad system to your buyers in a really easy way. Now there's benefits for you too from the agent's perspective. Not only does it protect the identity of the buyer, send them an informational email, it, we're also going to send you an email of a daily summary if your buyer is calling on different properties. Let's go into your My Buyers tab on your dashboard and I'll show you other benefits to registering your buyers. So if you're on the main page of your dashboard, the page when you first log in that has your listings, you'll click the check mark that says My Buyers. Here you can see you can register your buyer by clicking the plus sign, same information, name, phone number, email. Once a buyer is registered, you will be able to see their inquiries. So let me pull up a map view for you. It looks like this buyer has had 46 inquiries. It means they could have looked these up on the VoicePad mobile site. Maybe they were driving around neighborhoods and called in. All of this information is available for you. And here you have your legend. If it, it was a call, then it will be red. If it was a website view, it will be blue. We found that usually when someone starts using your mobile site, then web is definitely the main way they find that information. So again, important to share your mobile site. You'll be able to see a view on a map of all of the homes that your buyer has inquired about. This could be really convenient. You can see uh, it looks like Mary has looked at four homes on this particular neighborhood. This must be the area she's really interested in. We're also going to show you when there was a price change of a home that your buyer has looked at. So this would be a good time to touch base with them again if you haven't reached out for a while. We'll highlight those price changes in red over on the right hand side of your screen. So let's go back to your My Buyers tab. When you start regularly registering your buyers, you can actually print out a buyer report and that will just help you get an easy view of your buyers once they're all registered. So I'm going to go back to the main page of your dashboard. And that is it. Those are your five steps to get started. You want to save that VoicePad system number as a contact in your phone. You want to make sure you have your mobile site on your phone. To do that, hit My Profile, Mobile Site Options, click your link, and hit Share This Site. Create an icon of this site on the home screen of your phone. Share your personalized mobile site with your buyers, and then register your buyers. So all of this information that we covered today can be found in a handout form on VoicePad Answers. So your VoicePad Answers is a banner here on the right-hand side of your screen. So if you have questions, feel free to use our VoicePad Answers portal. We'll likely will have the answer for you there.